Hello, Akharja, Akasfalcha. Hello, my friends, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I want to share with you five ideas that I believe with all my heart will turbocharge, supercharge your creativity, as well as one bracing Irish bonus. But before we dive into that, I want to invite you to a free, fun, uplifting, inspiring gathering that I am hosting on Zoom this weekend on Sunday, the 29th of September at four o'clock. Uh, we'll be celebrating Michaelmas, which in Ireland is a holiday that is associated with the Cailach, the Hag, uh, and also with ideas about dark and light, uh, young and old, wisdom and folly. And we're going to be pro-folly for the weekend. <laughs> Let's come together and have some fun. My only requ request is that you wear a silly hat. So again, it's free, it's open to all. Again, it's on Zoom. It's just an hour. It's four o'clock till five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And you'd be so welcome. And it would be so fun to see you uh, on camera, to see you face to face. So I'll put a link to the sign up for that in the first comment down below. So these five ideas, why I came up with them is I am 55 years old right now. And I have been playing the piano since I was five. And I have considered myself a creator since I was five years old. I was aware of myself as a creator. And I'm just thinking in fives right now. And I wanted so much to equip you with ideas that have really sustained me over 50 years um, of creating. And because I, I truly desire that my family, and that's you, of creators feel strong and excited and empowered and makes everything that's in you to make. That wasn't quite grammatically right, but you know what I'm saying. I want us to, I want us to move forward. I want us to have fun. So without further ado, let me share these five ideas that have helped me and that I hope will help you. The first of the ideas is this, nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. You can always move forward from this moment. Whatever you have done is important. When I was 12 years old, I was standing in my bedroom and I heard that phrase in my mind, nothing is wasted. So imagine, for instance, if you have written half a novel and it's on your hard drive, or imagine if you are, you know, in the middle of a song cycle. Okay, let me just tell you, to be honest, those are two examples in my own life. I have written a full novel and I also have half a novel um, or a novel with a big hole in it on my hard drive. That novel with the big hole in it helped me to write the complete novel that I believe will be shopped out to agents and be published. That was not wasted, the time I spent writing that half a novel or the novel with the whole. The song cycle that is incomplete right now is not wasted. Don't let half-finished creative projects uh, be a drag on you. Nothing is wasted. The smallest things matter. Nothing is wasted. Whatever you have done matters. That comes to the second idea, which is everything counts and you get, cr you get credit for all things. So if you wrote for five minutes today, it counts. If you went over and tuned your harp or your guitar, it counts. Give yourself as much credit as you can at all times. See the smallest bit of progress as meaningful and as worthy of your self-esteem, of your feeling good about yourself. So everything counts. Uh, five words on a poem, they count. All of it counts. See it that way because what I've found in my life as a creator is that when I take that attitude, I am giving myself encouragement, which adds up. When I instead think all I did was write a paragraph, I'm literally taking, as they say, the rocket fuel out of the rocket. And it's hard to, and then as they say, saying to myself, fly higher, 
you know, I've criticized myself, I've belittled myself, I've seen myself as inadequate in some way. And then I'm saying, okay, now that I've done all that to you, uh, now you can succeed, now you can flourish. No, we need so much more encouragement and praise than we are aware of. And mostly that has to come from ourselves. Mostly I think that's the right way. So we're learning to say, yes, good work. I sat down and played for five, 10, 15 minutes and I got somewhere and I'm also amazed. Have you ever tried this? You set your timer, you say, I don't have a lot of time, but I have 10 minutes. I'm gonna write a poem. I can hardly believe how much can happen in 10 minutes. So everything counts, nothing is wasted. Number three, follow the fun. Wherever there is a spark of life, of energy, fun is energy. Fun is excitement. Fun is vitality. Wherever you can find that spark of vitality, go there. Commit to it. Commit, require it, in fact. Uh, and also say to yourself, if you're maybe stuck in the middle or if you have to patch up a novel with a big hole in it, how can you make it fun? And I think actually that is one of my power questions is how can I make this fun? How can I make this fun? Require that fun. That is a, that is a gentle self-discipline that we can all practice. Follow the fun, commit to fun, ask yourself, how can I make this fun? So that you can start again, so that you can keep going. So important. The fourth idea, only go where you feel excited, eager, and encouraged. Now, this has to do with websites, media, social media, clubs, um, groups of people, certainly your own mind. But I'll speak first to those external ones. If you attend a club and you come away feeling, for instance, a writing group or a songwriting group or a painting group or whatever, and you come away feeling a little uneasy even, a little bit anxious, just a little bit thrown off your game, run away from it. Just don't go back. Don't. Don't make yourself do that, right? Only go where you come away and you think, I cannot wait to do my thing. I am so excited. Those people are gold. I love what they're doing and I love how they're talking about what they're doing. There's great energy there. There's fun. There's a sense of positivity. I'm on it. That's my place, right? So that is just be really discriminating because my friends, your creativity really matters. And it, again, it requires a lot of encouragement uh, and a lot of positivity. So be very discriminating. Now, the second part to that to only go where you feel excited and empowered and inspired is in your own mind. Require an atmosphere of empowerment and inspiration. Require that. Let your mind, when you think about yourself as a creator, let it be an atmosphere of excitement, of eagerness, of encouragement. You will hear because you are human, because I am human. And I certainly hear myself say, that isn't very good, or I should have done more, or boy, you really screwed that up. I am practicing, and I hope you will join me, and I know you, many of you already are. Let's practice gently closing the door on those comments. We don't need them. They never help. I have come to the conclusion that criticism never helps. I'll say that again. Criticism never helps. That includes self-criticism and that includes criticism in the world. Never helps. What always helps is encouragement. Now, that doesn't mean we're not discriminating. That doesn't mean we say, gosh, you know, that part of my poem I feel isn't as clear or energized as this other part. But there's a way to tell myself that where I'm sort of scanning a poem or scanning my song or scanning my story and saying, I don't feel like that's as strong or as vivid or exciting as this other part. And I come back and say, well, how can I inject that energy? How can I 
what needs to happen there for me to bring it up to the same level of excitement as the rest of the poem or song or whatever. That's, that's a craftsman approach, which I love, versus this thing is going nowhere. This is a real mess. This is a train wreck, whatever, all those kinds of things. So I want to make the, my mind a really wonderful place to be a creator. And I hope you'll do that as well. And the last of my five encouragements is find a way to share your artistry with the world on your terms. Your artistry is in many ways your essence. It's what you came here with. It's using what is in you to bring something, depth, understanding, beauty, encouragement, inspiration, uh, a laugh, um, whatever that is that is in you, find a way to share it. And this could be that you have a blog. It could be that you make a, a video, but it could also be that you have a friend and you send your poems to that friend or that you make sure that you, you have three people who, and you play songs for each other in some way, you know, when we talk about a circuit, a created circuit is a sender and a receiver. Now I don't share everything. Believe me, I have drawerfuls of books full of poems, but I do share some of my creative essence with the world. And it helps me feel that I'm making a meaningful contribution. I believe if nothing else, that when we share, we give other people permission and empowerment to share them their artistry as well. But I also think for our own individual lives, it's a source of meaning and empowerment and that your life is rich and that it overflows in a way that there's so much that you have something to share. We want what you have. It is exciting when I hear somebody stand up and sing or, or show or dance or show me their painting or read me their poem. I am moved every time. These things are optional. You know, in some, in some lives, it would be unthinkable to have so much extra to pour extra energy into artistry. So the fact that we can is wonderful. And it says, this is good, life is good, let's share. So finally, the little Irish bonus is one word, feinvas. You can try that at home, feinvas, which means self-esteem, self-respect. My desire for all of us artists, and that is you, my friend, I don't care if you've written one poem, one song, you've painted one picture, you have beautified a room, you are a creator on planet Earth at this time, and that matters. Stand up straight. Give yourself that esteem of being a creator. Give yourself the fame vast that you deserve. Oh, my friends, I hope that is helpful. I hope it's inspiring. I, and you know what? I, there are so many more ideas that are helpful to supercharge our creativity. This is what I'm gonna ask you this week. Share your ideas in the comments. If there's any one that I've shared that is helpful, I'd love to know. But I also want to hear yours. What has helped you keep going as a creator over your lifetime? Or what idea right now is giving you inspiration and verve and vividness and aliveness to keep going? I want to hear. We need it. Again, we need more encouragement and inspiration than we remember. So thank you for watching like the video if you can. Again, it helps me so much. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And if you're interested in joining us on Sunday, I'd love it. The link will be in the first comment below. So thank you, my friends. I'm wishing you a creative and joyful week. I'll see you next week. Bye.